Hello guys, welcome to this new tutorial about creating different models in Rhino. Uh, in this tutorial we are going to create a concept for uh, a museum which I have designed it uh, some days ago and uh, now we are going to work on it and uh, remodel it in Rhino. So as you can see we have a star shaped uh, model in here which has a uh, soft skin like this and mm, you may think that uh, this may be difficult to create uh, such a skin like that but it's so easy it doesn't have any special tricks but uh, you have to know mm, what commands you should use to create such a thing so go to another uh, Rhino and open the top view and start uh, the modeling process. So for the first step, I should uh, make sure that my uh, view is on wireframe because we want to create a plan uh, for um, uh, the first step. So I go to uh, surface modeling tools and then create a surface with a rectangular plane. So I click here and hold shift and again click here to create a square uh, surface here and again I click on it and type rebuild and make some um, actually dividing uh, curves on it so I think 50 and 50 might be good so I click on OK and as you can see we have a net uh, here that makes our uh, surface various moves and controllable so after creating that I click on it and I go to uh, solid tools and then click on the turn on solid control points and now we should move up one of these points so I choose this one and move this up to for example this point um, and after that I will create a curved plan here uh, a, a projected plan out of the border curve here so I type uh, dupe border and click on the surface and right click and as you can see uh, the border is highlighted in uh, yellow color which means that it is created now so after it, I uh, type the command project to C plane and click on yes to delete the curve here. Now it's projected on C plane. Uh, so now I will draw a line here and then uh, I want to make a surface here. So I go again and hit the surface from three or four corner points and then I start drawing uh, a curve here like that and another one here uh, if this problem uh, is happened for you as you can see we have uh, a very nice uh, curves iso curves here but it's uh, out shaped here and mm, it's not a good ISO curve so I delete this surface I click on this and uh, hold alt and move this arrow over here and type mi for mirror command and hold shift and click somewhere so you have another surface here and I rotate it by holding shift and move it back to its origin point. Um, after it, you should create the uh, curves on the surface for creating the uh, mullion parts of the glass because this part and this part uh, are our glass panels and we want to make some uh, mullions on it. So I uh, click on it and type rebuild for example 
20, 20 might be good. Yeah. And this one too. Okay. Uh, so now uh, click on this and hold shift and click on this surface. Okay, now uh, click here and here uh, and type extract wireframe. So now we have all these curves here. Uh, and you should know that this mutual line here uh, is extracted twice because uh, these are overlapped on each other. So uh, hold control and click on somewhere for this uh, mutual line to uh, extract it from the uh, selection. And now uh, as we have selected these uh, yellow lines, we type Control G and make it a group. So if I click here, you can see that these lines are grouped together. And now I type pipe uh, and the pipe radius might be mm, 0.07, for example. Hit enter. So it's a little too much. So it's too much. So I again click on pipe radius command and type 0.02 hit enter okay now it's uh, good I suppose that you know your exact uh, your exact radius for the mullions uh, so I don't step on uh, my numbers for the radius you can choose it yourself and now uh, I go to this icon here to selection icon and click on select the last select last created objects to select these ones and now hit ctrl g again so you have your mullions grouped together uh, and you don't want those lines from now so i delete them and uh, make a layer for this uh, mullion part for example layer 2 might be assigned to uh, mullions and these surfaces uh, should go under the layer of glass so change object layer and type glass okay yeah that's correct and now we should uh, make some thickness for this surface over here so I click on it and hold on this circle here and move it up so you have your surface uh, offsets here and now we want to create those uh, sharp skins that we, uh, we saw before so I click on I type uh, create UV curve hit space or enter and choose this surface and right click so you can see this border is created for us and now uh, we can create those patterns on it so again uh, come here and choose the rectangular plane hold shift to create a square one like that and again rebuild it with 2020 it's okay uh, move it to the right part for example here and then click on it and go to solid tools and uh, choose solid control points and bring this up like that and make a thickness for it, for it too it doesn't have to be too much that's enough and now array it on this uh, border in x direction I may have one two three four or five I guess and five in the uh, y direction and one in z and now I can create my boxes here okay and right click it's okay uh, and go to selection tools and click on select last 
created objects hold shift and choose this one and control G to make a group uh, and a surface is uh, needed for the base part because we want to use command flow along surface so I, I go to uh, this part and click on surface from planner curves okay and now click on these objects click on flow along surface choose the base surface a part of this base surface for example uh, here and click on the target surface which is here now it's morphed on this in the surface we don't want it anymore and we uh, we can create a group for this so control G okay and now I want to uh, make a polar array out of this object so first I should uh, move it to the point that I want for example here and create a point here you can change it later and now click on it I mean select it and uh, make sure that your record history is on right click on it and uh, check the always record history again click it and now you should make the uh, polar array by using this icon and click the center of array uh, you should now choose the number of array you want. We want uh, four uh, items here. One, two, three, and four. So I type four, enter, and uh, I want it. I want to array it for uh, 360 degrees. So I click on right click, and it shows us a preview. Uh, and I hit right click again. So now everything is created. I just need to move some uh, parts of it, for example, like this. And because of that record history, if you move the item, you can see that everything is uh, moving together. So again, here and here. Okay, congratulations, you have created your own museum concept here and I go to uh, Arctic view and you can see that it's created uh, and it's so uh, clean and no bugs here. Uh, so I go to glass layer and hit the material uh, circle. Change the type to custom and make a color for it, for example the red one and make a transparency and reflectivity and gloss finish. Ok and click on OK. Uh, change the viewport to uh, rendered to see those uh, actually change that you are making. Uh, so again go to custom and make the transparency more reflectivity more and glass finish okay that's it you have your own museum here I hope you have enjoyed the vi the video I hope you have in I hope you have enjoyed the video uh, if you have any questions you can uh, type it in the comment section and I will answer you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next videos that I'm gonna update soon.